It's not the worst thing to slap a woman now and then. As I remember, you said you don't do it with a clenched fist. It's better to do it with an open hand. Yeah, remember that? Yeah. Yeah. And I didn't I, love that. I haven't changed my opinion. You haven't? No. He's got a knife. I swear I'm not fondling myself as we talk here. I'm being very professional. Marty Penny, who did you send across on this mission to complete with me, the legend? Sean Connery. Is that Hi, Crocodile mate. Dundee? Having a little wank over there? Crocodile Dundee? I don't believe it. I can't get off of this truck. <laughs> <laughs> So, Crocodile, what has you on this mission? I'm looking for the largest koala in these areas. Looks like we have a shadow silhouette behind you. Is that Sylvester Stallone? Hmm. Jesus Christ, that's the biggest koala I've ever seen. Money Penny, I can't do this mission with these in results. I'm just here to slap a bitch up. <laughs> Cross or what is that? Yep. It looks like my mother's vagina from a distance. In Walkabout yep. Creek, we see all the stars. It's funny though, I've never seen you. Seeing all this snow falling around reminds me of dandruff. Does anybody else get that feeling up in these areas? So Sylvester, how's, how's them seminars being on the vocabulary? I hear you've been partaking in them recently. <laughs> a very articulate way oh, to put it. Crocodile, you look like you had something to say there, but you went quiet real quick. Just like your career in the late 2000s. <laughs> Pocket grenade, anybody? Have you ever been married, Mr. Dundee? Oh, I was married once. Went on a walkabout for a little while. Come back, she was gone. I didn't think 18 months was that long. Only be aggressive to women, so it's a fair fight. Sylvester, you almost hit me in the face there. I've not been pancaked like that since I met a fat bitch at a bar. <laughs> Oh, you're into that too. I think I broke my chin. Hey, Sylvester, does this remind you of your Rambo movies? <laughs> Was that the one they gave you an Oscar for? Yeah. You know we I'm fucking with that you. Way, watching the Rambo movies. We only had one DVD for five years. What's your opinions on this Donald Trump guy? I really like his quip. Reminds me of that little line between my balls to call a gooch. I have no idea who you're talking about. Life is more than dingoes and kangaroo. Get some intel on this drug dealer we're about to take down, please. Crocodile, lead us in. Oi, Pat Katori needs a skilled engineer to hijack Radio Bouchon's signal. We need to locate the rebel engineer at the dam and bring him out. I haven't heard a monologue so articulate in Shakespeare. Well said, good sir. I can see why we brought you along. Anybody have any idea how we're going to go about it? Sylvester, we need to run this like a dingo. Mm -hmm. My thoughts exactly. When I get nervous, it sounds like I have a cock in my mouth. You'll get used to it. Oh, mate, you must be nervous all the time. They call me the gorilla in bed. I never knew why. What? Why? Because you shed hair? Only from my back. Oh. Oh, nice driving. Nice. Hey! This isn't a Rambo movie, Stallone. Get the fuck on with it. 
With all these red flashes happening on my stream, it reminds me of that one weekend I spent in Amsterdam. Money Penny sent me over to find Pussy Galore. I found her alright, and she was on her period. The red light. As a man with no morals, I didn't mind. Hmm. You know what rhymes with Rambo? You make me a ham sambo, bitch. How much does the sessions cost with your mother, Sylvester? So she can feel my bum, fondle my balls, and tell me my future. <laughs> what about for an old friend? Would it be cheaper? <laughs> I appreciate the honesty. You've become very much articulate in your old years. Can you tell me where Money Penny is? I really need to see the bitch. She hooked me up with a dingo fucker and a stuttery retard. I'm done with this job. Get me out of here. You've always got on my nerves. We have a second drug dealer to deal with. Don't make me take you out. Bollocks. Before we go out and hunt this drug dealer, Crocodile, I heard a disgusting rumor about you. Legend has it. An alligator. Get your leg off. Well, it was a crocodile. More like a love bite, really. Enough about me leg, though. Let me tell you about the rest of me. Up north in the Never Never, where the land is harsh. And there lives a mighty hunter named Mick Dundee, that's me, who dances like Fred Astaire. That looks more like a teabag dance. Reminds me of what my wife used to do to me before she hated me for slapping the shit out of her. Well, what do you expect with one leg? Which leg are we talking about, Mr. Dundee? They called me the tripod. Not because my penis, because I like to buy tripods with my money. This weather makes me very erotic. Anybody ever feel that way down here? My, we need to end this mission quick before one of us gets humped. It's more of a personal thing. Sylvester, you've felt it before, right? Mm. I'm not talking about gonorrhea, Sylvester. I'm talking about a real erection in Bolivia. You ever felt it before now? Yeah, boom, I pee. <laughs> okay, can you give us some intel on the next drug dealer we're about to take down up in here? Pyrolucite Labs. I understand everything but two words. Immaculate performance. I think I have all the intel I need. Let's go. Hey, what the fuck is pyrolucite? I think it's like a lubricant across the seas. I once had it before. Any ideas, Sylvester? Mm -hmm. Sylvester, now is not the time to talk about receding hairlines. Let's be serious for a minute. You know, I had a Sheila, back where I'm from, named Jax. Jax. That means a different meaning over here. Oh, I know. Jax means toilet where you're from. Yes, excrement. Oh my, I'm boys, I'm hunted, I'm moving. Oh, the hunter no, has become the hunted. I How do you like them apples? Happened. I seem to have fallen off a cliff. <laughs> <laughs> Don't they have gravity over there in Australia, Mr. Hunter? I'll save the crocodile. I think my testicles are. Oh, never mind. I'll show you that testicle trick after the mission, Mr. Hunter. Three headshots in a row. I feel like Elton John in the toilet after his first album release. Oh, I had a boomerang once. I threw it as far as I could and it never came back. I almost left my career. So, Baxter, how's them astrology classes you've been taking on your time off from being an action hero? <laughs> Andromeda, you say? Interesting. Tell me, Crocodile, do they have tissue? over in Australia? Or do you just use your hands? We don't make messes. 
And what do you use to wipe your butthole? That's the real question. Go all up there. Doesn't Peter have a problem with that? I don't know this Peter guy. Your pronunciations need work, Mr. Crocodile. Where did Mr. Sly Sylvester go? Who up here? Getting ammo, but he's down there jerking off an iguana. I'm nowhere close to the drug dealer because my balls get sweaty when the action's about to hit. Anybody it's else right. heard that? How do you know your balls are sweaty? There's a stench, a specific aroma that comes from Bourne's balls. Was that what that was? I thought there was a dead dingo around here. The name is Stenchy. Stenchy Balls. Hold up, Sylvester. Wait for us. Sylvester's in a different universe the way he speaks sometimes. It's too complex for my simplistic ears to understand. Isn't that right, Sylvester? <laughs> Are you fingering your butthole right there, Sylvester? <laughs> hey, Crocodile. It seems Sylvester has come to a plan that'll wipe them all out in one swipe. Tell him, Sylvester. <laughs> oh no, that's never gonna work. We don't have any dingoes. Who's the best bond? Who's the best bond? Hmm. Sorry guys, my provisions got the best of me. Back to the mission. Got all the money penny to drop. Money penny, save me. It's okay guys, I've led all the enemies right over towards where we all are. Like I ran to Sylvester and Crocodile to their deaths. The plan worked perfectly, guys. Now to fondle myself behind a rock. <laughs> Looks like a civilian face planted himself off my excellent driving skills. I'm killing them with my stout, Mr. Crocodile. Stout. <laughs> Have I thrown a grenade? Maybe that'll be the most stealthy way to deal with this. Whoa. James Bond out. Money Penny. Ah. Looks like you found us a perfect spot to lie to. I'm not letting you take care of all the glory. I chose here first. I want a touching death scene too. Speaking about touching. Have I told you this time when I... Get your hand off me. Drop on the road in front of him. I'll dive on the car. Okay, let's see how this plan of action works. Watch the cliffs. In front of him. I like it when you're aggressive. Oh, we're going down! <laughs> Jesus! It's okay, Crocodile. James Bond is going solo. So low, my testicles touch my socks before I put my tuxedo on. <laughs> I right, killed him. Money penny. Well, let me off the damn chopper, and then the chopper fell on top of me. And that's how you complete a mission. <laughs> Success. Killed him. He killed himself by defying Sean Connery. I smack a bitch. Well, mates, it's been fun. I think I'm out before I get killed in action. What about you, hey. Mr. Stallone? <laughs> I have a nice little testicle in my pocket. Anybody want to give a little rub? Mmm, three testicles. Mmm, I like laying on the ground next to you guys.